serve dining uh, environments where they serve wine. I'm a little intimidated. I don't really know that much about wine. Maybe I'm too embarrassed to ask the wine steward. Maybe they're busy. So, you sit down and you can touch the surface and you can start to look at the wines on yourself, by yourself. I know I like red wine, so I can, you know, I can start there. I know I like a full body wine, so I can take the slider and move it to, uh, you know, wherever. What it's doing is, it's narrowing my choices. We started out with 14 wine choices. Now I'm down to four because of the choices that I, I made. I can scroll through them, get some details on them. You know, maybe that looks good, so I'm going to order that wine. Let me order for this side of the table, too. What it did right there was bring up a, a virtual poster. Let me pick a, a wine over here. So, we have two coasters. The waitress is going to bring those wines. She knows which one is which. And she's going to put them down on the coasters. Now they're immediately associated with those wines that we pick. No matter what you do, no matter how many glasses you drink, you switch it around, it's always going to be associated with that glass of wine. Then you can start to uh, look at some of the details of those particular wines. Maybe I want to know what food I should order with this particular wine. It'll give you choices of food pairings. You can look at the region that the wine is from. You can actually pull up the map of that region. Maybe look at some other wineries in the area. There's interesting information about that wine, make it a richer experience. Again, you can look at the winery itself. Oops. Play a little video about the wine. Yeah, that one's not working. Learn about the grapes. And the great feature about this is maybe after I've had a few glasses, I can't remember what wine I like so much. So you can email it to yourself right there. You can also uh, make this a very interactive experience. This is a slider that um, the more it glows, the more you like the wine. And you could be walking by and say, oh, she really likes that wine. I wonder what it is. And, you know, maybe ask her or see, see what it is. So, nice, interesting, fun thing to do. Another uh, experience is kind of similar to that. Uh, it goes into a little more detail about how that can finish off. This is another dining application. Uh, when you sit down, you know, waitress isn't always there. So you can start to look at some of the drinks. I kept enjoying you and I put my loyalty card down because I love this restaurant. They know me, they know my favorites. So we can each start to, you know, order some things. Definitely have to have chocolate cake. Order it. So, goes to the computer, the waitress knows what our order is. She brings our drinks out. This could be uh, an advertising opportunity for that particular beverage. We can do some fun things with the bubbles that come out. I always like to say, what if you were on a first date, you didn't know what to talk about, here's some entertainment. Especially with the wine one, there's lots of stuff to talk about there. So if you drank, you've eaten, and it's time to pay the bill. And as we all know, it's a little bit difficult sometimes to split it up in a way that you want. So she puts her card down, and I put my loyalty card down and now we can just drag and drop to each other's card whatever we ordered. Maybe she actually drank that. A tip slider makes it easy and calculates it for you. And you, you know, push pay and you're on your way. So if you guys do you think they got to touch it yet, should we go to that demo? This particular one is meant to show some of the unique qualities about surface. Uh, I can touch it like this. I can touch it with two fingers. I can touch it with all my fingers. So, multi-touch. The other uh, aspect of this is multi-user. You can all touch it at the same time. Go right ahead. You can take up to 52 inputs at the same time. Is there sensitivity on it? Um, is there sensitivity on it as far as touching it? Okay. 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 
Um, so we'll just keep going in order. Uh, photos is next. And with photos, the idea. Uh -huh. uh, the idea behind this is uh, again, this has a tag on it. But you can imagine that if you subscribe to some sort of uh, service, maybe Windows Live or maybe um, some sort of uh, online photography program that stores your uh, information up on the cloud, you're issued a card. <laughs> you could, just like the card on your, the strip in your pocket, it has all your information when you slide it. You put that down on the surface, goes out through the internet, into the cloud, logs you into your account, and then brings back your content for you wherever you are on the server. So with Microsoft Surface, the idea is your content anywhere, anytime. Um, that being said, we'll play a little around with this a little bit. Um, so these are just folders. Is this from above is what's kind of like that track? So this is just so you can see here. Oh, okay. okay. So what you have here, uh, basically, in layman's terms, you have a Windows Vista PC. You have five cameras trained on the surface uh, in the infrared, and then you have a projector. Um, they're all tied together with the surface uh, uh, software and a uh, modified DLP lighting. Okay, so this is all video based or camera based. There's no electronics in the top. Very tough, very sturdy. Um, so in essence, you can't really hurt the top because it's, you know, it's, a, dumb, it's a dumb top. Um, it's all vision. Okay. Uh, so please go ahead and everyone just grab a grab a picture. And very natural movements. One finger, one hand, two hands. The idea is we can all do this together. With my content. Um, of course, in every table, I'm going to switch uh, folders here just by touching the other folder. Uh, we have one table. There's always a table hog. Uh, we were at SIGGRAPH and I had a, a young kid come up and just do just over and over. And, I mean, it went out the pixelation. It was, just, it, it was like 25 times to get it back down. Um, video here. <laughs> but we all did that together at the same time. So they did some sort of research and they found that um, <laughs> somewhere around 40 to 45 percent of digital content never makes it off the camera because people can't figure it out. Like my father has a digital camera. He's fairly savvy. He can print his own pictures out. My mother, not a chance. No way. She does. She's never emailed. She won't do that. But. If I were to take a Wi-Fi enabled table and a Wi-Fi enabled device, excellent, and with no cameras, <laughs> this tag is going to tell Microsoft Surface, again, just the barcode for now, it's going to tell Surface, camera, I'm going to put it down, and then through the Wi-Fi enabled Canon camera here and the Wi-Fi enabled table, I was able to take that out without any cables or anything like that and put the content right there for us to interact. So the idea is it's real, it's it's there. It's not this isn't the, the technology the behind the tag necessarily, but it's creating the connection between the two through Wi-Fi. Um, Bluetooth is also going to be enabled as well. I mean you have to, it's just part of part of life now. <coughs> so so you can imagine. Sorry, is there any sort of thing you have to do to like allow it to do that? Or is it gonna if I accidentally set my camera on the table it might suck a little bit? All I did was connect to the Wi-Fi connection. Okay. okay. And the tag told it which hold where to go, what what everything that was going on. So if I had a Wi-Fi enabled camera, I'm sort of saying like if and I just set it on there without having done anything, it's gonna just suck the, the photos out? Not right now. Right. Um if you know what a Wi-Fi and it was just simply enough. There's gotta be some sort of interaction. Um, <laughs> Basically, you're, you're trying to create um, some sort of homogenous uh, feeling about this. So you can get your content, you can get your pictures. I necessarily can't get your content if I, I can't. I don't want to be able to log into your account. Right. So, thank you. You're welcome. It's all trying to take the cables. If you're having, you know, a vacation in San Francisco and you just shot all day long, and then you go back and you're having a drink, you come down the lobby, and your friends come over. Well, you run upstairs, get your camera, get your laptop, get your USB cable, plug it all in, come back downstairs. But here you just eliminate all that. And that's part of the whole, the whole um, natural flow of what we want to do with service. Get rid of the intimidating part, make it so it's just 
right through from the kind of the top. Obviously, there's going to be more going on in the background, but that's going to be um, in the background. Not in the so the other thing is, if you're still locked in, 